the survival drama Squid Game has turned into an international hit and become top show in many countries. If you love Squid Game, here are the 20 games you should play. Hello Neighbor is a stealth survival game with a horror feel. You try and sneak into the basement of their neighbor's house to uncover a horrible secret. The game responds to your strategy by setting traps along paths the player followed in previous attempts. As you explore the neighbor's house from the first-person perspective, you have to avoid being spotted or be chased down and be captured. Creeping around like this leads to high suspense and jump scares. You can stun them and throw objects. Each time you are caught you go back to your house and try again. Drink More Glurp is a wacky sports game where you take turns to play athletic challenges. The twist is that you have to control your over long arms with a separate joystick and your body is a wheel you can roll along on if you lift your arms right up. You can move and grab with each arm using a button and stick for each. It's a mix of simplicity and complexity that becomes actually quite intuitive to use as you get used to it. Still, you do have to wrestle with the real world physics. Executing the right move takes both precision and timing. Run, jump, throw and compete with up to 20 people in the party mode or aim to score on the online leaderboards in challenge mode. Bake and Switch is a puzzle fighting game where two to four players are apprentice bakers fighting the mold and taking on various guardian bosses. It's ridiculously cute and a lot of silly fun as you catch, merge and sacrifice the anthropomorphized go creatures before time runs out. Through 100s of levels you progress through a variety of baking challenges. Whether you work with friends or compete in the player versus player modes, it's a lot of fun. Each level can be completed with up to 3 stars and offer plenty of reasons to go back if you don't manage it the first time. Blanco's Block Party is an online game where you collect and create custom characters based on toy figurines. Along with the built-in modes of racing, platforming and shooting, you can also plug and play your own levels in a similar fashion how Disney Infinity worked, although with a simpler set of tools. Like Roblox playing with others online enable players to invent their own games is a big part of the draw. Here though, the level creation can be done in the same environment that you play in. Blanco's Block Party will also focus on collecting and customizing the full series of characters as you progress through the game. Boomerang Fu is a fighting game where you control small food-like characters. Using your boomerang, the aim is to slice the other players with ranged or melee attacks. You can use a large range of power-ups such as explosive boomerangs, disguise and telekinesis. You can then put power-ups together to form personalized combinations. The game has simple controls and up to six players as well as computer opponents, meaning it's great for families wanting to play together. There are arenas that include unique tools and traps, as well as moving platforms and foliage to hide them. The game also allows players to tweak settings to tailor battles for their family.
Brawl Stars is a fighting game where you battle the computer or other players in all against all and team matches. You can play as any of the game's 50 plus characters, called brawlers, in an arena. The cartoon style lends the game a more lighthearted aesthetic. Each brawler has a main attack and three other abilities, Super, which is like the brawler's special attack star powers, which are passive abilities which can deal damage to opponents, or Agu, which are unlockable abilities which deal massive amounts of damage. By winning fights, you move through a progression system called the Brawl Pass. The rewards are quite generous, giving you loot boxes, skins, images, coins and brawlers. It refreshes every two months. You can also view your progress and claim milestone prizes on the trophy road. Hogwash is an action battle game where you play as the farmer or as one of three pigs. The farmer's goal is to capture the pigs, while the pigs aim to cause mayhem and get three specific areas on the farm covered with mud. You can play single player or multiplayer. It's playing with other people you know, but the game really comes to life, particularly if you opt to play locally in the same room. Here, the pigs can communicate to try and make their numbers count. It has the popular teamwork often found in chase-style horror games like Hello Neighbor or Phasmophobia, but makes it completely appropriate for younger players. In fact, the simplicity of the game makes it more enjoyable to a family audience. Party Animals is a fighting game where wobbly animal characters go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Like gang beasts, the novelty is in the game physics that recreate realistic movement and impact with a cartoon rag doll feel. You choose one of the several furry fighters to brawl in a range of modes and locations. You can find and use a bunch of different silly weapons that escalate the chaos in different ways, a plunger, a lollipop or a bomb. It's a bit of silly fun that is quick to pick up but actually needs considerable skill to master. Unlike other fighting games, where you chip away at opponent's energy for a hard-won victory, here it's as much about quick thinking and turning the tables as it is grinding away energy. Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach is a survival horror game where you explore a vast pizzeria and shopping center while hunted by a murderer. This is the first time you can freely explore the ever-changing world, play mini-games, solve puzzles and fight bosses. You play Gregory, a child who is left behind in Freddy Fazbear's Mega Physiplex when it closes. Play involves exploring the sprawling 80s-inspired Physiplex, complete with a playable indoor golf course, racetrack, laser tag and more. You sneak around, completing missions and solving puzzles. You can also go inside Freddy and use him as a mech suit to fight against the other animatronics and use his strength and speed to your advantage. If there is another way out, I will help you find it. I promise. Awesome night, and we'll see you again soon. WarioWare, Get It Together is the latest in the mini-game series. Games don't get any sillier than the WarioWare series. Each of its mini-games presents a basic, yet peculiar challenge for the player. A simple scene appears on the screen with a one-word clue about what to do. In the few seconds of the countdown you have to figure out what the task is then to press the appropriate button. From picking your nose or shaving a chin to stomping on enemy mushrooms or popping bubble wrap, you can play each crazy mini-challenge multiple times to get better at it. This in itself isn't new, but the way the games are designed to take advantage of this hasn't been seen before. You 
chumps ready to mash some stuff? Find the plus control pad and the A button. You'll need those to squeeze out the win. Butter Royale is an online Butter shooting game where you fire food rather than bullets in 32 player battles for the It's a battle royale, but with the violence focused through silly food related weapons. There's a real challenge here, but one that has been made more suitable for younger players. Play as solo or in squads of four. You target other players with hot sauce shooting, bread blasting weapons that knock out your opponents. You can also find power ups to heal your squad or trap your enemies in food. The game is tailored to younger players. The movement and shooting are simple. There's no building like other Battle Royale games. There's no shrinking safe zone that adds more pressure that kids can struggle with. Regular human basketball is a very different sports game. You play basketball by jumping around inside the robot players to control their moves. It sounds both strange and hard work, but in reality it's a lot of fun. Where this really comes to life is played cooperatively or competitively with other people. By getting your character to the move, jump, attack buttons inside each robot you can pull off basketball moves. But because of the strange and awkward control, it's a game where players must plan ahead and work together to win. The controls are a bit like lovers in a dangerous spacetime, and the gameplay is quite like Super Pole Riders. If you have a few controllers attached to your computer, it's, really it's a awesome great game for all the family. Rolling, rotation, and really, really, really working that magnet. Jam to do. Slam jam, thank you, man. An unexpected result. I had a lot of money riding on that game. Now what will I say to my wife? Little Timmy needs his medicine. Oh, what have I done? Supermarket Shriek is a kart racing game where you control a shopping trolley with a goat co-pilot. You have to navigate through obstacles and challenges in a range of shops, boutiques and supermarkets. Because the goat is driving you can only control things by screaming. Press the left trigger to make the goat scream and turn left. Press the right trigger to scream yourself and turn right. Press both triggers to both scream and propel yourself forward. The levels are intentionally quite difficult and if you fail you have to start from the beginning. It's zany silly fun, but actually has quite a lot of skill to it as well as you need to communicate with the other player. Move or Die is a party game that captures the frantic, ever-changing, high-stakes drama of Squid Game. As noted on Steam, this four-player friendship ruining party game features dozens of different modes, made even more frantic by constantly switching modifiers every 20 seconds. Players may start a simple match of bomb tag or falling blocks, only to find that a mutator such as Lights Off has plunged the map into darkness, or that every player suddenly has jetpacks. The other mechanic that keeps players on their toes and replicates the high-stakes nature of Squid Game is right in the name, Move or Die. Players must constantly remain mobile or lose health, meaning that as they adjust to new modifiers and conditions, they need to keep working towards their current objectives. Gang Beasts provides a pretty cute backdrop for fun, with adorable characters that players can customize with quite literally hundreds of combinations right off the bat. However, the instant you get into a game, things get ugly. The goal is to be the last person left alive as you try to outmaneuver and outsmart the others in your lobby. It's not as easy as it sounds, though each button controls a different body part, and you have to master some tough combinations of you to try to knock others off the map. Players can think outside the box and secure a victory by being cleverly observant of the surrounding area.
Stumble Guys is a massively multiplayer party knockout game, with up to 32 players' online intention to struggle through levels round after round of escalating chaos until one victor remains. If you fall, just start again and run. Join the endless running fun. Dive into a series of ridiculous challenges and bizarre obstacles, knock down your rivals and overcome everything to win. So, are you ready to get totally wiped out? Download Stumble Guys The Ultimate Knockout Game now and take a part of this ultimate madness. Invite your dudes also and beat them all. The Danganronpa franchise has become infamous for its pitch-black sense of humor and high level of violence. The series follows groups of high school students who are forced to kill one another by Monokuma, a mysterious individual in a leering bear costume. Aside from the horror inherent in the premise, the Danganronpa series also embraces another facet of Squid Game that has captivated audiences, mini-games. As the story progresses, the students hold a series of class trials to determine who the killer among them is. Players and viewers who aren't turned off by the dark subject matter may find themselves enthralled by the bizarre mix of visual novel aesthetics. Why, hello there! Thank you all for waiting! Now, let's begin! <laughs> Crab Game is a competitive action game where you play mini-games based on the Squid Game Netflix show challenges. Similar to Fall Guys, each requires you to be the last player standing to claim the win. Here however, the game has a darker feel with players attacking and dismembering each other to win. There are different challenges include the Red Light Green Light Simon Says Challenge where you are shot if you move at the wrong time. The different challenges offer more variety in different locations. Color climb involves holding a hat as long as you can, while other players try and steal it. Like in the TV show, players fight each other using guns and melee weapons. The Wonderful 101 is an action game where you control not one, but a huge horde of superheroes. Viewed from Wonderful above, you work your way through levels defeating enemies. The group can unite morph into different shapes with specific powers. As you progress you explore each stage to free citizens who then join your army of heroes. The more you have, the greater the special morph powers are. On the Wii U, different morph powers are triggered by drawing a symbol on the gamepad, on other platforms you use the control stick. This creates not only an unusual way to play, but a focus on the community or crowd, rather than on superhero. It's also nice that the everyday people you save join the troop as unique superheroes. Fall Guys! Ultimate Knockout is a wacky obstacle race. Compete to get to the end of the course and advance to the next round. Drawing on TV shows like Takeshi's Castle, Wipeout or It's a Knockout, you have to control top heavy characters to overcome challenges and various obstacles without failing to grab the only crown and become the winner. Battle bizarre obstacles, barge past unruly competitors, and overcome the unbending laws of physics as you stumble towards greatness. Some levels are basic races, while others have a specific challenge like having to steal another player's tail so you have one when the timer runs out. Leave your dignity at the door and prepare for hilarious failure in your quest to claim the crown.
That's our 20 games you should play if you love Squid Game. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from Gamer Gage again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go.